Hey guys, how's it going? We're Alice Hotshot, and uh, in this video of Win Tips, that's what I decided to name these uh, uh, videos that I make. Uh, in this episode of Win Tips, I'm going to show you um, how to use like a laptop or a uh, desktop with a built-in wireless or wireless USB adapter as a access point. As what I mean by that, as uh, if you have an Xbox and then you uh, have an Ethernet cable plugged into the back of the Xbox and then you plug that ethernet cable the other end into the back of a laptop for example you can use this laptop as a like access point and you can get wireless uh, uh, internet access to your router uh, to your xbox if you know what i mean so you know use it as an access point um, but what you want to do is let's say you have an xbox sitting right here and then you want to uh... just plug an ethernet cable into the back of that and then uh... run that cable down over to the uh, desktop or laptop. In this case, I have a desktop and it's got a built in wireless USB adapter, the one I reviewed just a little bit ago. And so just make sure it's plugged in there and it's nice and tight and uh, that that port does work. Now, what you want to do now is you just want to get on the computer and then you want to go down to your wireless connection and then you want to open the sharing and network center or whatever it's called. Uh, so you open up that, and what this is going to do is going to open up your network sharing, and it's going to show you all your configurations, stuff like that. What you want to do is you want to click on whatever you're connected to wirelessly. Uh, you just click on that, and then you go down to the bottom left, click properties, then you go up to the sharing tab, and make sure the first one is checked, and the first one or the second one is unchecked. So the first one checked, the second one unchecked. Um, the second one unchecked, it does not really matter if it's checked or checked checked or unchecked but just go ahead and keep it unchecked so uh, and that's all you do you click OK close and then close out of the Windows Explorer and there you go and next thing you have to do is you have to go into your Xbox and uh, your settings and make sure it's set up as wired uh, then it will do the right you know the IP stuff for you because they're so nice and there you go it should have perfect connection just as if you were connected to your router just straight plugged in there with an ethernet cable so that is episode two of win tips tell me if this helped you out i'm not sure if this works for xp or vista vista i'm pretty sure it should work for windows 7 and vista are pretty much similar um, but most people have windows 7 or vista now so xp really doesn't matter uh, I don't think it does that though, but anything before that doesn't work. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave it in the comments. And until next time, this is Wireless Hotshot. Thanks for watching.